now I've got uh, Nikki and Jim. Jim, can I start with you? Out, out injured at the moment. Uh, where are we with the injury? Uh, I'd say about two or three weeks away. Um, I've still got to wear trainers, so hence the trainers suit combo. So, fashion. But uh, no, so about another two or three weeks. If it was someone like Nicky, they would be six. He's a little bit lighter. Like that. The mic's not working properly today. Yeah. yeah, so it's about another two or three weeks. Uh, I can't push it. I broke my second metatarsal in my foot. There's a lot of load going through there, especially with jumping in line outs and stuff. But a couple of weeks, hopefully. Two or three weeks, is that to return to the field of play or to start training? Well, no, I think the minute I can start training, start running around and stuff like that, you know, I'm good to go, really. So running is going to be the last thing that, that I can do before I can play. So I'll be doing everything else I can uh, before I actually do that. So it's going to be two or three weeks, you know, to be fit for selection, if you like. So you've been able to maintain the fitness levels the best you can in the interim? I know, the first no, I have. I've been working really hard over Christmas and stuff. Obviously, you know, it's a tough game and stuff like that, and you need to come back in the best shape possible. So, um, yeah, you know, so I'm still fairly fit. I've been in the swimming pool quite a lot, so I'm a bit of fish now. Well, you still cast a massive shadow as you walked in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Nicky, that hamstring again? You're out for a few days only this time, though. Yeah, hopefully just a little tear. I uh, did some running earlier on the pitch and it was improving, so hopefully back training middle of the end of next week. Excellent. Be glad to see you both back, please. It's the time of the year, we've just moved into 2011. We have a look at a half-time report. Jim, let's start with you. Gloucester's first half performance, would I be too negative if I said hugely disappointing to this point? Uh, no, I, I'd say you are probably being a little bit harsh there. Um, you've got to think as well, we've got two games in hand. Obviously we did drop down to about sixth in the league, and obviously last week was disappointing, but you need to look at it as a whole. You know, we win these, we win our two games in hand, that's us in the top four, potentially second again. So, yeah, it is a bit harsh to say that, and uh, you know, it is a long season. The you know, guys are disappointed last week, after last week's result. You know, it, if you have a look across the Premiership, not many teams are winning away from home, but you know, we realise that that's the difference, you know, if we can pick up a few wins away. It's not like last season where you've got teams like Leicester who are going away and they're picking up six or seven wins, you know. Uh, it's going to come down to who's winning three or four games away away from home and picking up bonus points at home. And, you know, that's crucial for us, you know, in a game today against a tough team. We need to pick up a bonus point because, as I said, teams like Leicester, teams like Northampton, when they're winning, they, you know, they are picking up their points. And ultimately, that's going to come down to sort of the top two, top four at the end of the season. Nicky, um, I apologise then for being a little harsh. Uh, you had a short period on the time, on the field at Leeds last week, by which time my head was somewhere between my knees in despair. Again, I'm being ultra critical, but I thought that was clearly Gloucester's worst performance of the season. How did it seem to the play inside? Yeah, it's hard to argue with, with that. Obviously, we went up there. Uh, Leeds hadn't won a game all season. We knew it was going to be tough. It always is at Headingley on, on a narrow pitch. Um, but we knew it was a game that we really need to win. We set targets to be in top four. And to do that, as Jim said, you have to win matches away from home. And you look at, at someone like Leeds and you hope to pick up a win there. Um, obviously, performance-wise, it was really disappointing. Um, we went through the game without really doing anything. And that's the worst thing. If you're looking to create things and make mistakes, that's probably fair enough. But we didn't even do that. So. Uh, to go there and obviously it was a dubious try that got them um, the win but apart from that we, 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 did, we couldn't really take a lot of positives from that it was, it was pretty disappointing all round and obviously a really bad start to the year A word that I know doesn't come into your vocabulary but when we think of Newcastle, La Rochelle and now Leeds lower rank sides if you want does the word is there any complacency when you run out there or is it that if we'd been playing Northampton on Boxing Day, you'd have been another three degrees ready for it? I mean, I, personally, I, I don't think we've ever, I, I've never gone into a game complacent. Um, I think teams like Leeds are, are really difficult to play away from home, Newcastle as well. There's not many sides that go away and, and pick up a four or five point win away up there. 
Um, but it has been a, a problem of ours the last couple of years that, of going up to places like that and not being able to get wins. And that then puts pressure on yourselves to go to places like Leicester, Northampton, uh, Saracen to pick up away wins there if you want to be in that top four. So we know it's a problem and, it, and it's something that, that we are aware of. And, and it's down to us as a, as a coaching unit and as a squad to find out why we're not performing there. And that's the thing, we, you've got to try and perform week in, week out. And, and we haven't done that, especially at home. La Rochelle, that was a game that we definitely should have won. And uh, unfortunately, the performance wasn't there. Well, now I'll put my positive hat on and say the rest of the season starts here. Um, Exeter today, Jim, just before we talk about today's game, quite a revelation Exeter this year and um, fully vindicates the decision not to ring fence the Premiership. Without uh, promotion and relegation, we wouldn't have this situation where, as I say, Exeter have been a breath of fresh air to the league. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've watched Exeter play a few times this year, and uh, it's been they've been fantastic to watch. They've not just been grinding out results, you know, they've been winning and winning well. And uh, you know, again, uh, I watched them play Leicester at Welford Road, and I can't remember a team, you know, especially when I was there and when I've been watching Leicester, that have actually done that to a Leicester team, and they could have won and could have won quite comfortably as well. They've been a revelation. You know, obviously, at the beginning of the first game of the season, where they, where they beat us and stuff like that, and we were caught cold. But we're not the only team to have gone down there and, and, and lost. So, you know, it's fantastic for, you know, a spectator and stuff like that to watch. It must be fantastic for the Exeter fans. They've got a lot of, they've got a good fan base down there. They've got a good setup, And, I, you know, I've no doubt 100% that they'll be staying up this year. And, uh, you know, it does, you know, it's wide open for, you know, who's going to be relegated this year. And there's a view to us going forward. It's a massive game for us this week. You know, it's almost like a derby, if you like. And, it's um, it's a must-win game for us, but you know we don't want Exeter to bring. They're a tough, tough team. You know, especially up front. You know, they seem to be very well coached, and it's going to be a tough game. But you know, it's a game that we must win today. So uh, hopefully, it'll be a good game. Mickey, could we be looking today with the pitch wet, uh, an old-fashioned forward battle, and that may be where the game's decided. I think. I think the. Uh, the, the way the game goes will be decided by forwards, nothing changes there, whether it's the rugby was played 20 years ago or what. What the backs tend to do is decide by how many points uh, the difference is. Um, we know it's going to be a massive battle up front. Um, we know how strong Exeter are and how well drilled they are up front. It's, um, after running on the pitch, it is quite energy sapping, quite a heavy pitch, and obviously a bit of rain that we've had and not a lot of grass growing, so um, it's going to be um, a big battle up front, and, and whoever does win that, uh, we'll probably come out on top. Obviously, we, we have a lot of strength in the backs, and we're hoping to, um, as we didn't do last week in Leeds, is get some ball out there and really take the game to X. And we're at home, and we know a big side, a massive for us. And um, this year, we've had some really good starts here. Look at Harlequins, even Leeds at home. We've had some really good first half performances, and uh, hopefully, we'll get that today. I have to concur with the fact that get the ball out wide. We did it just once last week, and. Uh, James was in the corner with no problem at all. After today, Jim, we move on to the Amblin and then the LV. Both uh, competitions are now out of our control. We're going to depend on other results. Still important competitions? Are we still really going to push to um, obviously get five points at Rivigo in there? But we've got to decide it with Argen here in a fortnight. Yeah, I think definitely. Obviously, you know, the thing that we're trying to strive for as a club is that consistency. So that means going out there and winning every game and, you know, winning every game well and, as, you know, as by as much as we possibly can. So, you know, us as a squad, we need to get used to that. We need to get used to going to places like Rovigo. And, you know, there's no doubt that we'll win that game. It's in the manner in which we go there and win, the way that we prepare. We need to get that sort of, you know, in ourselves that we do that week in, week out, especially on the road. So there's no doubt, you know, that we're going there you know, to win these games and uh, yeah, you know, obviously it's out of our hand and at the minute, you know, today's game's all that the guys are focusing on, but you know, that's what we need to do in order to become better. Time's uh, caught up with us, so Nicky, if I can finish with you, to give um, our fabulous supporters the word we want, are we still a top four or a top six team? We, we, we believe as a squad that we're capable of being a top four side. If you look at the league positions, we're not at the moment, so we set ourselves a challenge that if we're going to be a top four side, we're going to have to improve the second half of the season. 
as I said, we believe that as a squad. Um, I suppose the proof will be at the end of the season and where we finished. We weren't last year, uh, and we really want to be this year. And so do the rest of us. But, gentlemen, Jim, I know you had a bit of trouble getting in here. Thanks for uh, making it. Can I wish you well with the injury? We definitely need you back. And Nicky, hope we see you in Italy next week. Thank you to you both. Jim Hamilton, Nicky Robinson.